Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my Mac Pro server. So this machine currently runs a Minecraft server, actually two Minecraft servers and file sharing. And in the near future, it's going to run a website as well, host my website rather. And I'm going to be making a video where I build the website, so stay tuned for that. But this machine currently has 12 gigs of RAM that consists of a dual 4 gig module kit and a dual 2 gig module kit. 12 gigs of RAM is kind of an odd number, but it works and it's more than enough RAM than I currently need right now. So it also has a 5770. I was going to put my GT120 in there, but I can't really find it. I'm not sure where it went. It has four one terabyte drives. Those are in RAID 0. And in the optical drive bay, it has a 500 gig two and a half inch drive as the boot drive and a four terabyte WD red drive as the backup drive. And this machine, like I said, runs Minecraft and file sharing right now. And the way I have that set up is the first LAN connection is dedicated for file sharing and the second LAN connection does Minecraft and will run the website as well. So kind of, I mean, you'd think I'd have them teamed or something, but I don't have a smart switch or I do have a smart switch, but it's not configured yet. I went over that in my setup tour video, but eventually I'm going to be teaming those. So this machine, let me take the camera off the tripod here, or my phone off the tripod here. You can see my hand there. So I'm missing a couple of drive bays and the thing to hold them in isn't there. So I just have it screwed in like that. And if we pull out this tray here, I can't really get it one handed. You can see it's, this is the RAM configuration and the processor is in that heat sink. So if I just, Pop that back in like that and then this is the drive configuration I believe I can put this adapter in the optical drive thing it might be too tall though I'm not entirely sure I will kind of mess with that later on but you can see the I, I do this because those are SATA connections to the logic board on this and I can put drives in there that aren't it doesn't have to be IDE drives it can be SATA drives so that is the setup hardware wise. Now I'm going to show you the services I have running in more detail and I'm going to show you some configuration settings I have as well that are kind of interesting. So the machine just booted back up and I'm going to show you a couple of pretty interesting things or pretty cool things I have set up here. So the machine is set to start up after a power failure. and. I have it set so it launches both Minecraft servers, as you can see right here in a few seconds they're going to come up. TeamViewer of course automatically opens and so does server, but Minecraft servers, both of them, let me just click on them here because they don't seem to be, I may have to reconfigure the settings on them, but you can see both the servers start up here. So this is my creative server, and that's the survival server, of course. And I also, in the server thing, if it, we can just pull that up here. Let me type in my password. So you can see I have file sharing enabled here and that's for the archive and storage pool. And those are all in this. The, the master pool is arrayed, zero array, that's four terabytes, like I said, and everything is in it. So storage pool and archive are my storage pool and archive. Those are both shared volumes. Library is for caching and netboot and everything, which I'm also gonna set up netboot, I forgot to mention that. And then Minecraft, of course, is the Minecraft server folders. And yeah, so I also have caching enabled on here. And then, like I said, eventually websites and eventually net install or net boot. So, yeah. And you can see, like, for example, this one is on Ethernet, too. So, yeah. That's really it server side, honestly. I don't think there's anything else to show. I should install the updates on this. And then if we go over to the Mac Pro, this is the Mac Pro workstation. You can see up there... Actually, let me uh, connect to server here, Command-K. Let's 
annoying. Whenever I use the connect to server menu, it doesn't show the server, but I can just do this. Hold on. I can do that and they come up here. So usually I don't have the archive mounted. I usually only have storage pool mounted, but if I need to get something off the archive, I do that. So you can also not see what I'm doing right now. You will be able to in a sec. But my file system basically consists of, I have the mount point and then I have documents and those are documents, executables. So that's downloads and all that. Media, which is my pictures and stuff. And then I have a dedicated YouTube thing. So my main channel and all my footage and all that goes there. And then I have a gaming channel or I will have a gaming channel soon. And that's what that's for. So I also have this configured. The reason it didn't automatically come up is because I have it configured as a login item. So you can see here that when the machine, when I log into this account, it pulls up or it brings up the server. And the reason I have that set up is because I don't really want to connect to the server every time I restart. I can just, when it logs in, I believe it sometimes asks for a password, but that's about it but I have it configured to automatically connect to that when I log in or when the machine turns on again. So yeah, that's really it for this video. I don't have anything else to say on the server. I may make a part two when I set up my website and everything on this, but really nothing else to show. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.